the lawn to Diani, who slams it home. Right at the right from the left block, layup good. Parker drives it through the hole to the right. Front comes around to score, and the Cavs win. Pierman dives into the end zone. Touchdown, Cavaliers. Cavalier Sports Weekly is presented by the Virginia Lottery. The Virginia Lottery, helping Virginia's public schools. And brought to you in part by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. On this edition of Cavalier Sports Weekly, presented by the Virginia Lottery. The biggest improvement I've made since I came here has been my, like, mental toughness. Sports Weekly. I'm Casey Steffen, number one on the softball team. This week, our men's basketball team traveled to Atlanta for the ACC tournament, while our spring sports face some tough competition at home. We'll catch you up to date on all the action, but first, here's your play of the week. The play of the week is brought to you by SunTrust Mortgage. We make the American dream come true every day. I'm actually going to have to give my mom credit for that. She played lacrosse in college, and uh, she actually taught me that when I was real young. But uh, Coach Van doesn't quite advise of that, so I crossed my finger as soon as I let it go, and uh, glad it went in. When you're in tight like that, you feel the pressure on your back. You know, sometimes you don't have time to turn and shoot. So, you know, you just aim for a spot in the goal you hope to be open. Stay tuned. Virginia game highlights are coming up next. From Sanders now, lobs up for Diani, who stuffs it down on the alley-oop. Oh, what a play. It was placed perfectly in the air. By... Welcome back to the show. It's ACC Championship Week for our men's basketball team. Let's check out the highlights from Atlanta. The Cavalier game highlights are presented by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. It's a time to reflect and, and as I said to the guys, that uh, between Mo and, and Tanji, they've given this university some marvelous moments and some great memories. And, uh, things that they can take with them and then they also obviously had life experiences which are which are filled with highs and lows and, and they'll be able to take that and, and hopefully use that in the next stage of, of their life and, and be better people for it and if, if that has happened uh, to both of them then, then they can look back on this experience as a as a real positive one. And here's a steal. Calvin Baker takes it away from Sanders. Now lobs up for Diani, who stuffs it down on the alley-oop. Oh, what a play. It's going the other direction now. Baker's into the front court. Slings the pass to Diani on the near wing. Mamadi defended by Southern. He's got a mismatch. Blows right by him. Effort-wise, I thought we were decent enough, but we were steps slow in a lot of different areas, whether it was rebounding or rotations defensively or execution offensively. And I think... We, we, we weren't the uh, most aggressive team today, although we, I don't think we lacked for, for effort. You know, we, we weren't the, the first uh, boxer in the ring punching. And, and I think uh, when you do that against uh, a good team, especially Boston College, that plays as, as, as good uh, basketball as, as any team that we've played from a confidence standpoint, uh, then obviously they make you pay. And, the game was manageable from a point standpoint, but we were always uh, climbing uphill, and, and that's a that's a hard grind to, to manage. If you're not making all the right plays, and it, it becomes a harder hill to, to climb over. I mean, it's very hard, very tough to swallow. I mean, um, I mean, this is all I've known for the last four years. You know, um, whenever this point came, it was always back to thinking you know what what am I going to do in the off season to get ready for next year and at this point it's 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 like it's over so I mean it, it's very tough to swallow but I've really enjoyed the time I've had here good and bad it's all been it's all been great and it's really made me a man
One of the stars on our number one ranked men's tennis team is fourth year co-captain Dom Inglot, and he is your student athlete of the week. The student athlete of the week is brought to you by the Cavalier Team Shop online, where every purchase benefits academic support for UVA student athletes. It's a dream, you know, you just, you don't think that you can take a chance, because I hadn't visited this place. I just went on what Brian had told me over the phone when I came. The journey is hard, you know, working hard, but if you're all there together doing it together, it's, it's a lot of fun. The biggest improvement I made since I came here has been my, like, mental toughness. I really think there's a culture, I, I, I hate to say it, in England where, you know, if it's not working your way, you try and look for excuses and, you know, you try and find a reason why you're not doing well instead of just toughing it out. And I've definitely had those problems and it's been an issue kind of like, you know, getting it out of my game, so to speak. But I think Brian Boland's helped me with that a lot in terms of just, you know, knuckling down. If you're not playing great, if the wind's blowing too hard, your strings aren't, whatever. It's just just finding, finding a way or fighting through it and doing the best you can. And I think that's, that's honestly the biggest biggest step. My serve is probably the biggest part of my game um, and I just try and overpower everyone and it's really just like try to you know influence the opponent with my serve first and then try to just pick up the scraps after that you know whether it be a volley whether it be a short ball and just attack the opponent and don't let up. I am my harshest critic um, Sometimes it, it can get really kind of bad. I mean, it means so much to me that, you know, when you don't hit that, if you don't think you've done well enough, it, it's just a killer. So I think, you know, what the coaches have helped me to work on is to realize that you can't always be perfect and to not always go for the perfect shot, not always hit the ace, not always hit the winner. You know, it's okay for them to make a mistake. You also win the point that way. And before I was like, no, I want to hit the winner. I'm, I, don't, I don't want them to make a mistake. I want to win the point. But, it's just as good. It really is. You don't get any extra points for hitting a winner. So I think I've come to realize that. And as you mature, you, you realize that, you know, you can, you can win it both ways. And I think that's one of the big aspects that I've worked on as well. Brian is someone who works on, I feel like, the, the mental aspect of the game a lot with me. And, and Tony is more the technical. Sometimes it's good cop, bad cop with them. Um, and other times they just kind of complement each other in, in different ways. I just remember him coming in and giving it, I am Dominic's brother, <laughs> in the middle of my match. And I was just like, oh, smoke, holy smokes. But he turned up in like orange tights, blue Speedos, no shot on with a Virginia like paint on his chest, an orange cape. He's flamboyant and his girlfriend was right there with him in the most ridiculous clothes ever as well. My dad loves tennis. He could watch tennis all day. When he comes to the nationals, he sits there all day. There's four matches in a row. And he'll watch all of them if he can, unless he has to spend time with me, <laughs> unless he has to. <laughs> that means a lot to me that my parents are there. You know, my parents and my brother are there doing that. And he's coming again, he's got his costume ready for Texas a and He's got a new one, so I'm excited to see what that is. <laughs> I've won ACC championships, national indoor championships with Virginia. I couldn't be happier. The school's amazing, the campus is amazing, the people are amazing. Tennis facilities are amazing. Everything pretty much is amazing here. The funny thing is every single guy on this tennis team is a brother. They would do anything for each other and I think it makes the journey so much more exciting uh, and it also makes it, it makes you work harder because you're not doing it as I said for yourself. Sometimes, you know, especially when you get older, you kind of realize that this is going to end and you don't want it to and you just you want to go around you know the campus and see what you're going to maybe be missing in a year's time and so forth so i've done that a couple of times i've gone to like carter mountain apple orchard and seen the view of charlottesville from there at night as well so it, it's just nice and you just kind of like you just breathe it in and as i said before it's you just realize you know how lucky you are to have been here Visit the Cavalier Team Shop online at virginiasports.com and take advantage of this week's special offer. Seven days ago, our men's lacrosse team hosted Cornell at Clockter Stadium. 
We've got the story for you in this week's Cavalier Flashback. Cavalier Flashback is brought to you by the Virginia Lottery. More than $3 billion to K-12 public education since 1999. The Virginia Lottery, helping Virginia's public schools. Both teams undefeated. Gaudette and Glenn at the faceoff X. Gaudette shovels it to himself, picks it up cleanly on the near side. Virginia will establish possession. As Steve Giannone coming in on the left alley. Giannone fighting through a check. Giannone centers himself for another. He shoots and he scores! Bang! one nothing Cavs! Carroll on the left wing. Carroll being checked by a short stick. Carroll gets free. Carroll fires right-handed. Upper left corner. Virginia has a two-goal lead. Brian Carroll breaks from 10 yards away. That one Syracuse was pretty incredible as Shamel has the ball, fires low and scores! From 15 yards away, Shamel submarines a shot past Kyle Hare. Virginia has the lead, 4-3. to three. Danny and Garrett are going to get a lot of attention and uh, our middies are going to have to step up and make plays. And as the day went on, well, Steve Giannone probably set the tone for us early. And then as the, the day went on, that continued to happen. So I know Shamel had a couple and Brian seemed like he had a couple and Steve did. And uh, we just got to have that in order to have that kind of balance offensively that makes us more dangerous overall. And then if you got to start paying attention to our midfield, then it's going to open a little more space for the others attacking. Ginoni coming in front of the goal. Ginoni diving towards the goal and throws it in with one hand. Give it to him. Give it to him. The officials are, no, they wave it off. That was a fun play to make. It's unfortunate they didn't call it the other way, but you know, you got to roll with the punches and uh, keep going, keep going strong. Pinnell feeds left pipe shot by Romero, finds the bottom right corner. Tie game again. Behind the goal, they feed to the left pipe shot score. Cornell has the lead. We haven't been behind, you know, at, at halftime like we were today, so that was a little bit different. Uh, we just weren't alert defensively. We didn't give Adam any chance on a lot of those uh, early goals that they got. 45 seconds in, Giannone with two goals in the first half, looking for number three, Giannone fires and got the hat trick. Cornell's caught with three short stick midfielders out there on defense. Jamel down the right pipe, fires and scores, bottom left corner. With eight seconds, Danwick turning, curling towards goal, feet on top, Billings, touch shot, bullseye. <laughs> Cavaliers lead by two, and it was actually Hugely. Now gives to Shamel Bratton, feeds to the left pipe. Carroll feeds on top, Billings, turn, shot, score! Clockwork. 11 to eight, Virginia has the lead by three goals. Gladding being guarded by Matt Moyer. Preseason toward a, toward an award watch list. Gladding feeds on top. Oh, and Stanwick just tapped it into the goal. Following Bratton behind the goal. Cavaliers lead by five. Bratton finds himself in front of the goal. Oh, he just fit it in the top shelf, and the Cavaliers are rolling. He goes right back to Pinnell. Pinnell point, cranking, feeds right pipe. And a point blank save by Gittleman, who reaches back as the ball is about to go over the goal line. This was a real gut check win. We've been played a lot of lacrosse over the last couple of weeks. We're a little tired and a little beat up. and. Uh, you know, to get this game, uh, you know, for against a team that had a week to prepare for us, uh, you know, uh, he's, uh, th this is a really good one. Coming up after the break. Our baseball team swept Lake Forest in Winston-Salem last week and hosted another tough ACC opponent in Florida State this weekend. We've got those highlights and more in our Olympic Sports Spotlight. The Olympic Sports Spotlight is presented by the Virginia Athletics Foundation. I was a little concerned coming into today's ball game just with all the success that we had down at Wake Forest uh, this weekend and uh, scored a lot of runs this weekend at Wake Forest and you're always concerned you come back and play on a Tuesday and, and you have a letdown. But I was really happy with the way our guys came out right away in the first couple innings and swung the bat and took advantage of some offers, scoring opportunities. guys are what we call really locked in right now at the plate and, and everybody throughout our lineup and even reserves that come to the game are, are really swinging the bat very very well and you know you just hope that that uh, continues. I just like our, our players' approach at the plate. They're, they're, they're tough outs, um, and they're, they're, they're swinging the bat very, very aggressively.
early in the game, it, it showed that it was going to be possibly a pitcher's duel. I go out there trying to make my pitches. You know, don't don't think about strikeouts, don't think about any of that stuff. Just you know, hitting the glove right there. So you know, it felt good that you know they would swing and miss a lot. Had really really good stuff. Um, you know, he's got a fastball he throws at 88 miles an hour. He's got an outstanding changeup and command of his breaking ball. You know, just going out there knowing that I can do something like that and having that confidence and having the confidence that my team's going to back me up and you know we're going to score a lot of runs but it feels pretty good. Somebody said the stat I think we we hit 24 home runs last year in the ent entire year and we got like 17 right now I mean, that's pretty amazing. That shows off season you know last summer how guys like Jarrett Parker and Franco Valdez and Danny Grove had uh, uh, worked really hard. Coach told a lot of us to, to go away this summer and, and put on some weight, put on some strength. We were freshmen and um, we just had that little growth spurt you get in college and hit the weights a little bit and gained, gained a little pop. The thing I really like about our offensive ball club is we still haven't lost what we do well too, and that's steal bases and put pressure on the other team. And um, you know, we need to continue to play that style of offense and also knowing that we can also step up and hit a three-run home run when we need to, too. Our goal as a team and you know, on the mound, in, in the box, and defensively is to pick up your teammate. And, you know, um, there was a point during the game, there was two guys that struck out, bases loaded, and Jarrett Parker came up with a two-out single. We, we have that confidence in one another where you know, if one guy doesn't get it done, it doesn't really matter who's at the plate because we have the confidence that somebody, somebody will pick, hit their teammate up. When you concentrate on doing your job for the team, it's amazing how much more confidence you have in yourself because you know the team's there for you. Jamel Bratton feeds on top. Stanwick shot in the goal. Cavaliers have a 1-0 lead. Danny Gladding at X. His defender loses his stick, and Gladding. And the Cavaliers have a man up, and Stanwick fires and scores for his second goal of the game. As the Cavaliers set up with a 2-0 lead, and Shamel Bratton gets inside, fires, and scores. That's too easy for Chamel. They gave him a step, and he made him pay. In a game like this, where the other team is determined to slow it down, there's not a lot you can do. You got to be patient. You got to show a little poise, and you just got to keep working at it. Now here's Gill, and Gill turns and shoots and scores. Almost exited the box there, but Towson keeps possession as a crank is saved by Gittleman. Oh, Chamel, upper left corner. Haldy short stick matchup of Will Harrington. He's more of an offensive midfielder. Haldy blows right by it. Feeds to the left pipe. Stanwick looking for the hat trick. Dumps it in to the upper left corner. I was uh, especially glad to see us come out of the locker room in the third quarter and take control of the game again after it had gotten away from us a little bit in the second quarter. Shamel with seven. Shamel behind the back. Shamel fakes the shot and then hands it off to Billings who fires to the right side. Danny Gladding up the right pipe, goalless today, but not any longer. As he turned and found the bottom right corner, Virginia's lead stretches 11 to two. Our score now is DG finally on the board. Offensively, I thought we were fairly efficient, and defensively, I thought we were very good throughout. This doesn't a game defensively that plays to our strengths. You know, this wasn't a team that was going to stand in there and try to beat us up. It was important that we talk and move our feet and, and be good away from the ball. And, uh, and, and I thought today we were for the most part. Cavalier sports action this week.
Thank you for watching Cavalier Sports Weekly. We've got another big week coming up in Virginia Athletics. Baseball plays host to Miami, while men's lacrosse travels to Johns Hopkins, and women's basketball starts play in the NCAA tournament. We've got those stories and more coming up next week. Until then, go Hoos. Cavalier Sports Weekly is presented by the Virginia Lottery. The Virginia Lottery, helping Virginia's public schools. And brought to you in part by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance.